One season, managing Wrexham, only allowed to sign Welsh players, American players and Canadian players, and I scored over a hundred goals in the league. Want to see how we got on? <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. I'm Tony, as you know, and as we've said, this is the Wrexham save that we've been looking forward to, and fortunately, 106 goals in the league still doesn't win you the title, apparently. Not when I'm in charge, anyway. We'll have a quick little look in terms of how the squad looks, in terms of players we brought in. Then we'll show you what the league actually looks like. As you can see here, top goal scorer Paul Mullen, 45 goals, 45 goals, 35 in the league, seven in the FA Trophy, which we actually went on to win. We'll tell you more about that in a little second as well. Three goals in the FA Cup, 11 goals in non-competitive matches. What a man Paul Mullen is. He has a statue, clearly has a statue outside the ground. Um, and we're hoping, hoping, Given the fact that he's got 45 goals, we've got a playoff semi-final and potentially a playoff final. Could he get 50 goals this season? Maybe. He seems like the sort of player who could possibly do that. Uh, other outstanding performer this year, Bryce Hosanna. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful wing back. Um, look at that, 13 assists from 40 games. Absolute beast at a wing back. In terms of players we brought in, of course, as I say, we've already talked about one there, Matthew Blake. We also brought in Isaac Christie Hit Davies. Uh, another Welshman, um, play pretty well to be honest, plays in that deep line playmaker role for us. Um, I would say these average ratings probably aren't really a fair reflection of his performance over the season, but came in and certainly did a job for us. We've been alternating him a little bit recently though, however, with M.A. Hughes. Uh, we tried to get him in the start of the season, he wanted massive wages and then we waited for a little bit and, uh, and obviously no one came in for him so we managed to get him locked down. Um, so him and Davies obviously play a, play a sort of rotation in the middle. Uh, we've brought, as I say, Matthew Blake in. The big one, the big one that, to be honest, we brought for a bit of a laugh. Um, he didn't get a work permit, so he's never actually played for us. But we signed Freddie Adu. That's right, Freddie Adu. He never played, so we've literally just thrown money away for no reason. But we figured we had to do it, got to get him in. And we also brought in Will Ameson from Bolton, a Welsh defender, pretty solid to be honest, maybe lacks a little bit of acceleration, but um, in terms of, of performance, pretty decent. He's only played five games, he came and we had a bit of a defensive issue uh, towards the back end of the season there. So um, a reasonable recruit to be honest, and as I say, given the restrictions of, of who we could sign, I think we've done all right in the, uh, in the transfer market really. Tactics wise, we say we've scored 106 goals. This is the reason why. Look at those lovely link up lines there with McClendon, Mullen, Hyde, and Young. These guys were basically bossing it up top. Okay, now uh, we play, we'll talk the tactic through. We've got a sweeper keeper on support, which is Linton, who's obviously got a little bit of a knock leading into a playoff semi final. So, a big decision now as to whether we play him or whether we play an under 18s goalkeeper in that match. We'll obviously decide that. Uh, when the next couple of clicks um, Hosanna plays as a wing back on attack that obviously explains why he gets so many assists and on the opposite and opposite side is Matthew Blake he's on a wing back on support we have Ameson playing as a no nonsense centre back uh, and Hayden is playing as a central defender uh, what we normally have is we normally have Ben Toza as a ball playing defender instead of Ames, in Ameson but as you can see uh, Toza's currently got a bit of a knock so he might not make the playoff uh, semi-final either Harry Lennon sometimes drops in and fills in as well he's a great looking player and um, to be honest look at that jumping reach of 17 um, which is really really good for this league uh, in midfield we're playing with a Carrillo uh, James Jones is a very very good player indeed He's uh, certainly running running the midfield for us pretty well. He's meant to be a box-to-box -box player, uh, but we've decided to play him in that carrier role to give a little bit more defensive cover. Um, but, as you can see, attributes-wise, looks like a reasonable player. And alongside the Carrillo is a DLP on defend. Uh, M.A. Hughes is currently there now. As I say, it would have been Christy Davies. Obviously, they, they, they rotate uh, between themselves, so that's obviously where we try and get the balls deep and push forward then of course you've got Luke Young playing just behind the front two in an attacking midfield role on attack and up front as I say the uh, the trio McClendon, Mullen, Hyde, uh, an air, an advance forward, a poacher and a target forward all on attack. Uh, Dior Angus comes in as well from time to time he uh, 
weighs in with a few goals. We have had some injuries up front. Uh, Hyde, uh, McClendon, Angus, and um, also Kwame Thomas has just come back from a long-term injury. But the fact that Paul Mullen has managed to stay fit the entire season, that has been the absolute decider to us because he spearheaded that attack. And as you, see, as you can see, 45 goals suggest he's done pretty well. Angus, again, as I say, a man who's got a knock here, 23 goals in 38 games. Um, so doing pretty well on the goal scoring front, to be honest. In terms of how the tactics set up, we play the balanced mentality, vertical tick attack, and we try and play shorter passing out of defence. We want to hit those crosses early because we've got wing backs running up the line. Uh, we're trying to be expressive. We want to float those balls in if we can. Um, be more expressive. But also we're going to play with a low tempo because we're going to play very, very narrow and very, very short passing indeed. Uh, the balls are played out to the wing backs or the full backs on a counter press. Uh, we try and force those players inside, uh, the opposition inside. And we obviously want to try and prevent that goalkeeper distribution. We'll press as and when we need to. And that is how the tactic looks. And this is how it plays out. So as you can see, quite a lot of high scoring matches, which you'd expect obviously for a team that's got 106 goals scored this season. 5-1 against Yeovil, 4-1 against East Lee, 4-1 against Woking, 6-1 against Dagenham and Redbridge, 5-1 against Maidenhead, 5-3 against Bromley, 3-2 against Dover. The list goes on. Like honestly, if you've got a season ticket for Wrexham, you have seen some wonderful, wonderful football and you've got your money's worth. Absolutely. 5-1 against Halifax, 4-2 against Dover, 3-0, 3-2. I mean, let's have a quick little look, shall we? We'll take a look at some of the performances. We'll start here. Yeovil, 5-1 on the opening day of the season. So first goal comes in from a corner. Ben Toza gets his head on it. Hyde then wins a header. Young plays the ball down the line. Mullen cuts it back. McClendon taps in. That's nine minutes into the game. We're 2-0 up already. Jones picks the ball up. Christy Davies inside to Young. Back to Jones. What about that? Half an hour played. Absolute curler from the edge of the area. Hyde, what a ball that is from Mullen. Got to finish it, but finish it at the second bite of the cherry. And then this for five. In with the header. Game's dead and buried at this point. But then we switch off and we let a goal in. We have a 4-1 against East Lee. Goal comes in. Osana with the ball into the back post. Nodded down. Christy Davies. What a ball back in there. Toza with their header. Makes it 1-0. And this looks like it's about to be a carbon copy. To be honest, Hosanna whips the ball in. Mullen gets the header at the near post this time. Blake with the corner. Hayden. It's just three headers. Three goals so far. That four headers, even the opposition score with it. And then it's Blake now with a corner. I don't think I've ever seen that. Four goals, all headers. Now, I sort of feel a little bit bad for flagging this result up here because a friend of ours, RDF Tactics, is doing some great stuff with walking in real life and on YouTube. There's a link in the description below, so do go and follow RDF's channel. However, we did beat walking 4-1, so I think we should really relive that moment right now and have a look at those goals. Ball's picked up by Christy Davies. Hyde, Angus with the ball inside. Defender switches off to be honest. Probably should have cut that out, but Mullen taps it in to give us the lead. Blake pings the ball across. Toza again with a header. Makes it 2-0. Hosanna, Blake turns. Great cross. Mullen, towering header at the back post. And then walking. Actually pull a goal back with this. What a strike that is. 3-1. But then we finish the game off in style ourselves. Hosanna cuts it back. Could have been a penalty, but Angus taps in. But it's not all plain sailing, unfortunately. We did get beaten by Notts County twice. This defeat was the worst one to us. We lost at the start of the season, but this is the one where we were starting to get a bit of momentum going and trying to build a title challenge. That is a ridiculous goal to concede. Still got no idea how on earth the defenders hit the ball off his own man. Uh, Mullen, however, gets the ball in there, smashes in a great equaliser. We thought, fantastic, we're back on our way, we're back in the game. But then this happens, Francis, lovely ball in, goalkeeper's got to be braver there. Hector Ingram goes down and robs Leighton, taps it in. Leighton then pings the ball up, Hyde, great ball over to McClendon. It's long ball, it's 2-2, eight minutes to go, and we're back in it thinking, right, fine, we've got ourselves a point. 
and we leave Connolly unmarked at the back post, which unfortunately meant that it really put a bit of a dampener on our title credentials, to be honest, even back in January. Um, one thing you will notice, however, is that a lot of FA Trophy matches, because we went all the way, all the way, all the way to the final against Geisley, and this happened. Hosanna picks the ball up, Jones inside for Young, out to Hosanna, Hyde, nine minutes in, gives us the lead, puts us 1-0 up, ball's headed away, Blake picks it up, pings it back in, McClendon to Young, smashes in a second, 40 minutes played, Mullen from the spot, misses it, somehow 50 minutes, taps it in, 3-0, and we have won our first piece of silverware in charge of Wrexham, we have the FA Trophy in the cabinet, that belongs to us, what a great day. So in terms of the league, this is how it looked. As I say, we hit 106 goals this season, 59 goals conceded. We did finish seven points behind Notts County. And we now have a playoff semi-final against Stockport. So we're going to watch that live now. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we've then got a playoff final to watch as well. But we'll have to see. So here we go then, guys. Playoff semi-final, Wrexham versus Stockport. Win this, we're into the final, and then we're one step closer to life in the Football League. I'm not saying there's pressure, but I can feel the pressure right now. Okay, so throw in deep in the Stockport half, Hosanna chucks it up there. Mullen back to Young, back post McClendon. 1-0, 90 seconds played, we're taking the lead. And it's the perfect start, absolutely perfect. As I say, throw in, Hosanna goes to the near post, Mullen loses two defenders. Young, back post, McClendon, absolute acres of space. Free kick now for Stockport. Madden, let's just try and charge him back a bit, try and force him back, Poku, Fish. See us all coming out on our lines now, Sarkovic, Fish. It's okay, we've moved them back, but they're going down the line. Stand him up, stand him up. Good ball in, headed away. Oh, Madden. Madden's got the header in. One all, equaliser. Two highlights, two goals. Um, to be honest, I thought, as the covering man's coming down here, I thought, right, fine, cut the cross out, cut the cross out. Ball comes in, Blake misses the header. And then just pulls off Madden with the header. One all. Free kick again for a Stockport. Frost plays it short. Poku to Friars off the bar. Oh, 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 we've got away with that one, haven't we? Free kick again. Fish plays it up to Poku. Sarkovic, Poku, Frost down the wing. Southam Hills. Stop the cross coming in. We've done it again. We've literally done the same thing. Down the wing. Sivy with the header. Um, Right, we need to look to cut those crosses out, don't we? We need to try and fall. I think I'm sure we're trying to force them inside. Apparently not, by the looks of it. We can do with Hasana getting up and trying to at least challenge for a header. Throw in for ourselves now, Hasana. Gearing up for a long one. Mullen picks it up. Back to Young. That's the equaliser. Flag's got to stay down, surely. Yes, it does. Get in. Hosanna, windmilling that ball in there. Mullen, lovely bit of movement, by the way, for Young. And to be honest, there's a three players offside. I'm amazed that goal stands. Corner now, Blake whips it in. Big header from Mullen, it's just gone wide. Half time then, 2 2. So it turns out we weren't actually uh, forcing players inside, we were forcing them outside. So we've changed that up now. Uh, in terms of substitutions, maybe we'll look at, uh, at Hughes possibly for uh, for Christy Davies, maybe switch that around. Uh, Kwame Thomas, of course, could potentially come on up front if Hyde or McClendon uh, don't look like they're going to do anything. Hyde at the minute seems to be the one who may get changed. And then, of course, we're also going to keep our eyes on, on Hall Johnson because Hosanna is starting to flag a little bit. And the first highlight is a free kick edge of the area for Wrexham. Young standing over it. Oh! 
what a strike. What an absolutely fantastic free kick. One minute into the second half, keeper just stands there and watches it. Look at this. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 3 2 Wrexham. Full kick now. Long kick. Oh, hang on. Hook is through. Great save. Outstanding save from Linton. Poku went all the way through, big long ball from the back, and um, yeah, we missed the header. Barkley with the header straight at the keeper. So Southern Hales is on with the ball there. Frost inside Madden. Sivy is looking to turn. Paul Johnson, who we've brought on for Asana, we've actually moved him back as well from wing back on attack to a full back on support because uh, he doesn't particularly like to get forward as much. Good block there. Boyd Munts, Poku. Blake's got to try and show Southern Hales back inside, headed away by Hall Johnson. Friars, Boyd Munt, stand them up boys. Friars again with the ball back post, it's a header, another header, another header. Oh. Um, what do we do now? 3-3, three, three. 20 minutes to go, Blake switched off. Corner kick now. Poku. Dying minutes. It's gone in. Oh. Oh. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Sarkovic unmarked. And that's it all over. 4 3. Four three defeat in the playoff semi finals. There you have it. End of the challenge, and we bottled it. We didn't go up. We scored a whole load of goals, but it wasn't enough. Maybe we'll have another season. Who knows? Um, the next challenge is up in the Discord. Go and join that if you're interested in being part of it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like on it, drop a sub on the uh, channel as well. We'll see you all very, very soon. For next month's community discord challenge and maybe just maybe i won't bottle it doubtful